my kissing. Hi everybody, this is Adora from the BK's Gospel Choir and you are watching Session Studio 6. Keep it loud. case gospel group started way back in 1992. It started out as a cappella group by Kisting Brothers. That's where the name derives from. And then it has grown as you can see and then we have accommodated female members and now it's a band. Yes. Ah. And Adora you fit in the band. I definitely, I was born in the band. I mean uh, this is where Adora was born so yeah. This is family affair and it's always been a family affair but you know we as as the years go by we've grown into um you know welcoming other people and uh, now it's just a really big happy family so yeah but mike except the happiness there must be some fighting in between here right or everything <laughs> is smooth sailing no <laughs> from the bible's time and from the michael jackson's time you can see Bolly, that trying to do something with family is not easy but we, we, there is respect and we, we fight, but then we fight for a good cause. Yes. I can feel the spirit. I mean, when somebody listens to the music, you can instantaneously tell something is going on here. Yes. There's passion. We, yes, passion. We, we are blessed. And, and then the good thing about the passion is the music is ours. That's where it grows. Let's look at the first song, Adora. What was yes. it about? Uh, the first song, which says actually speaks about as young people we need to um, you know learn to call unto God and come back to where he wants us to be so it's just a calling to young people to know and to always remember that you know we need to stay in prayer we need to stay um, um, together we need to stay in faith so it just basically speaks about young people living, living by the word of God mm. Mm -hmm. Bye. 
the, the, the brain behind our music is, is our trumpetist, which is our brother, uncle, father, the deputy bishop. Most of the songs are composed by him and we follow his instructions. He's very strict when it comes to his songs. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the, the, this second keyboardist, Simon Kisting, doing his own. And then yeah, Carl Kisting, Mike Kisting, myself, composers, uh, the, the conductor himself, um, also Dandago, the first keyboardist. So it's, it's like a whole group of, of composers combined. And then Adora herself also. This is Mike Kisting. Hi everybody, this is Adora from the BK's Gospel Choir and you are watching Session Studio 6. Keep it locked! Show the dreams here, Mike. Give me some of the dreams, man. Where is this band going to? My friend, this band, God's willingly, is going to Germany next year. <laughs> and then we are looking at uh, some CDs. We, we have recorded two, and then we are looking at four, looking at four, five, six, ten, and then some collaborations. Like we we actually are, are you know, trying to collaborate with uh, Joy Celebrations. We'd love to be like them. We have once were from Tunzi Namba, that was just the start a few years ago and that, that is our dream to collaborate with such a group like this. Uh -huh. So nobody in specific composes this vibe, somebody comes up with lyrics and we all follow or somebody gives instructions and we follow? Somebody gives instructions. Um, the, the, the brain behind our music is, is our trumpetist, which is our brother, uncle, father, the deputy bishop. Most of the songs are composed by him and we follow his instructions. He's very strict when it comes to his songs. Mm -hmm. Then we also have the, the, this second keyboardist, Simon Kisting, doing his own. And then yeah, Carl Kisting, Mike Kisting, myself, composers, uh, the, the conductor himself, um, also Dandago, the first keyboardist. So it's, it's like a whole group of, of composers combined. And then Adora herself also. At some point we thought the song was okay and then you started the song all over. What was the story? You know, sometimes I, you know, um, like, like Mike said, uh, sometimes we disagree to agree. We agree to disagree. And uh, we are perfectionists. We, most of us are not trained musically, but within ourselves we were groomed by all these composers and all these legends within our group and they taught us to listen. What the ear tells you, the ear never lies. And you know, sometimes we, we go a little off pitch, we get very excited and then the conductor just says, okay, okay, everybody get into, you know, character, get into the song, feel the song, don't forget, altos you are too loud, you know, but these are not because we, 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 we are too perfectionists, we, we don't believe that we can make mistakes, of course we can make mistakes, but you know, the excitement and the spirit just drives you to that sometimes and it, it can mislead you, so yes. That brings us to song number two. God's love is like a burning fire. That, was, that is a song that was composed by myself. Um, I could hear the deep voice of God speaking to me and you know, looking at every day's life and what God has meant to us, I cannot just, you know, ignore his greatness so I had to honor him with a song like God's love because I could feel the burning fire his love in, in, in my heart that's where it preserves from
The, the, the brain behind our music is, is our trumpetist, which is our brother, uncle, father, the deputy bishop. Most of the songs are composed by him and we follow his instructions. He's very strict when it comes to his songs. Then we also have the, the, this second keyboardist, Simon Kisting, doing his own. And then Carl Kisting, Mike Kisting, myself, composers, uh, the, the conductor himself, um, also Dandago, the first keyboardist. So it's, it's like a whole group of, of composers combined. And then Adora herself also. This is Mike Kisting. Hi everybody, this is Adora from the BK's Gospel Choir. And you are watching Sessions Studio 6. Keep it locked. So when there's traveling involved here, yeah, it must have, it must be a massive situation here. Yeah, I can imagine 25 people getting into a plane or a car and going somewhere. I mean, uh, you know, the choir, uh, we we are, a, uh, uh, how should I put it? The choir depends from us and we de depend from the choir. So when we have to plan a trip, usually it's about... Uh, Okay, let's see what resources we have. Let's see how we can make use of that. If it's not enough, what can we bring or what can we add to improve the resources and just uh, be able to travel? And you know, we are not picky people and we've learned to just jump into one big car and we'll be sitting on top of each other and we'll get there and everything will be fine again. But uh, you know, the nice thing about traveling with, with, with this choir is there's always something to talk about. Uh, probably when we come back sometimes we are too tired and we just sleep uh, because we have so much fun and I mean recently the choir went to Stamprit and I must tell you it was a an experience that everyone is talking about. Anything else the group is looking forward to? Winning, buying something new, mm -hmm. changing singers. Well, what we are planning is we are looking at the Naiveko. It's, it's a long-term plan and and then new com new singers are always welcome newcomers they always we would try to groom and as we are also musicians we we also would want to you know plow back to the community by by teaching some instruments to to some marginalized groups so a dream of ours is also to establish a music school one day mm -hmm. and that will be a reality one day yes. the, the 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 one of the fondest memories that i have of bk's putting up a show is when we had a show at our church and i tell you there was no place to even walk Polly and that is that is just a sign that we shouldn't stop we should just keep going and keep going and uh, um, we have uh, already started with our social projects uh, we have one in Kibion uh, where we give attention to our elderly people we visit them we feed them we bath them we spoil them and then we have a new development in Stamprit where we would like to reach out to the disabled people so you know th these are not just small you know just a drop in the ocean of things that um, uh, BKs would love to mm -hmm. to to give birth to song number three I think Adora would be at best <laughs> to, to, to answer that uh -huh. I would add Uncle Mike is probably saying that because it's my father who wrote the song and the song says Mure Sira di Konga It basically um, um, translates Dear Lord, see our troubles Take these heavy loads of our shoulders We need you And it's just calling out to God to take away all these um, thorns in our path 